morning guys <clears throat> first thing let me say good morning uh or good evening or whatever the case may be wherever in the world you are um i wanted to discuss a few things firstly i want to say thank you to a guy named earl um, earl's got a channel he just started um and Earl shared a little bit of his knowledge with me. He was very polite and honest. And Earl, I appreciate it. And like I said, he's just starting his channel. Um, his channel is called Earl Show. And if y'all don't mind, y'all go over and check his channel out. Show him some, some love. Um, now to the point. Uh, we live in America. And, you know, we got a lot more choices and and stuff than, than a lot of folks in other parts of the world. Um, that includes what you buy, what you eat, what you wear, where you live, what religion you are, what car you drive, whatever. Well, I did a video on this. This is a Spore Gain Lawnmower Blade Sharpening Tool. Okay. Earl was honest and nice and you know, he helped me out because I told him when we started commenting back and forth that I didn't know a lot about these, had never used one. I was sent this one to try out. Well, he let me know about other brands and, you know, things that he thought. And, and I, I really appreciated him taking the time being patient and explaining stuff like that to me. I had some other comments that they weren't helpful. Um, and here on my channel, I try to keep everything positive. I do my best to keep it family friendly. I'm not perfect. I do mess up from time to time. I put this thing on backwards the first time. <laughs> anyway, that being said, I can put anything on my channel that I want to. It's my channel. Secondly, the man that leaves these comments about USA, only USA, I guarantee you I go to his house and within two seconds of walking in the door, I can show him three things made in China or Korea or Russia or wherever. The point is we buy stuff that's made all over the world and I support US made when I can. Now, let me explain. I buy U.S. made guns, I buy U.S. made tools, I buy a lot of stuff that's U.S. made. But now let me explain something to you. This uh, has two, four bolts, a piece of thread rod, another bolt, a couple of screws, some plastic, aluminum. And this being the point is that there is one of these that's made in America. And I should have got that one. I shouldn't be showing Chinese stuff on my channel. Well, this blade sharpener is 50-ish dollars. The blade sharpeners that this fellow was referring to um, is $220. Not everybody can spend that much on a tool to sharpen your lawnmower blade a couple of times a year. And then he went on to say that this design was stolen. Well, that's like saying that Japan and every other company that makes cars stole Henry Ford's design or every boat company or every motorcycle company or yard tiller or lawnmower or whatever. Everybody makes this stuff. Get over yourself. Get your friend to justify to me how this is worth $220, okay? I know it's made in America and I, I appreciate that, but I'm not paying $220 for this when I can get it for 50. Simple as that, you can get mad if you want to, but don't come at me in the comments because I'm gonna block your ass and be done with it. Simple as that. Earl, I appreciate you taking the time to explain this to me and to recommend some videos. And I still respect the fact that people make this in the US. And if you used it in a lawnmower business, sharpen blades every day, all day, I can see paying 200 plus dollars for it. 
I sharpen my blade maybe twice a year, so this is the one I'm going to buy. All right, that being said, I'm going to do another video on this product. This time, I'm going to put it together right and show you the right way to use it. Thank y'all for being patient. I appreciate y'all. And I got a lot, a lot of American stuff around here that I bought. A lot of it. You know, my building, that's made in Canada. And whoever built the first house in the world, them people that sold me that shed, stole their design. Just so you'll know. All right, guys. As before, um, I have set up this blade sharpener once again. This time, I have it set up correctly, according to my research. All right, let me get you spun around. This is actually the part that faces away from you. Um, this is where you set your angle. This thing is, is made really nice. Like I said, I've had some comments about it, but, you know, you're going to do that. If you do anything on YouTube, there's going to be a wise ass. But, you know, there are people out there like Earl who took his time to tell me a little bit about the tools because I told him I had never messed with one. And he was nice enough to recommend a video for me to watch to help answer questions I had. And I appreciate that, Earl. Thank you. But this is the way it's set up. You put your grinder in here. You get it where the center of your blade is on the center of your line, or the center of your grinding wheel is on the center of your blade. You tighten this thing down where you want it. And then you turn on your grinder. If you plug it in first, you know what I'm saying? I drug the cord over here in that fat bulldog laid, see? Laid on it. Let's get her plugged in. Sorry about the camera work and him snorting, guys. The heat gets him quick. And I'll get this thing plugged in here. All right. Now, this is the way your grinder should be facing the tool and the blade. That's my understanding. All right, and then you just turn her on. And there you go. Simple as that. It saves time. And if you buy one of these, it saves money. Because the other one's over $200. And I, as, as a lot of y'all know that's watched me for a while, I'm a cheapskate. I'm not paying $200 plus for something I use twice a year just because it's made in America. I'm sorry. I buy American when I can, where I can. And if the fella that left those comments can afford to buy all American, more power to him. Great job, dude. Great job. Um, and I appreciate you leaving a comment because engagement's engagement, the way YouTube looks at it. No matter good or bad. But uh, I appreciate y'all watching. Again, check this out. It's the Spore Gain Lawnmower Blade Sharpening System. It's available on Amazon and probably every other platform in the country. And, you know, like I said, saying that somebody stole that design is like saying Toyota stole Henry Ford's design. Chevrolet stole Henry Ford's design. You know, all these different lawnmower brands, they stole this design. He stole that trailer, stole the, the wagon's design. That shed over there, it stole the guy that built the first house's design. That's bullshit. Everybody knows it. Buy what you want. And if you can't afford it, buy American. If I can afford it, I'll buy American. But I'm not paying $220 for this thing. It's not worth it. I mean, it's not. Y'all know it. I know it. The guy that built it knows it. But he's laughing all the way to the bank. Good job, dude. Living the American dream. But I'm not going to pay $200 for something I use twice a year. I'm not going to do it. Um not to do the job that does now if it was something i dredge gold with or you know drill for oil yeah yeah i most certainly would it's to sharpen a friggin lawnmower blade okay that one is it works great from what i can tell it makes what i usually mess up a lot easier quicker 
So, yeah. It's a board game. Y'all check it out.